So prophylactic mastectomies means when the breast tissue is removed uh, without having a pathology in the breast itself. So without the diagnosis of any breast cancer, the breast can be removed um, to reduce the risk of having any future cancer um, in the lady. The ladies who come and ask for uh, prophylactic mastectomies are it can be one of the three uh, following categories. So some of the ladies have already been diagnosed with a breast cancer and they coming to ask for prophylactic mastectomy on the other side, as well as the mastectomy on the cancer side. The second group of patients are those who diagnosed with breast cancer and then found to have a gene mutations that make them higher risk of having breast cancer. And this is why they ask for bilateral mastectomies. The third group are patients who have no cancer at all. However, they've been diagnosed with a um, genetic disorder that makes them prone to have breast cancer in the future. And they ask for having bilateral mastectomy to risk reduce, to re reduce the risk of their um, breast cancers in the future. Now, in terms of the first group, patients who had or been diagnosed with breast cancer and they come in asking for bilateral mastectomy, the majority of the time, there's no benefit of having contralateral mastectomy. Even those who've been diagnosed with breast cancer and have a genetic testing proven they, they have a gene problem that makes them prone to have breast cancer, they need to discuss with the surgeons the actual benefit of having bilateral mastectomy because it also depends on the age of the lady and their lifelong risk of having further cancer in the same breast or the contralateral breast. So this needs to be discussed with the surgeons. The third group, those who've been not diagnosed with breast cancer, that they have been diagnosed with a genetic disorder that makes them at high risk for having breast cancer. They have a benefit from discussing and considering having bilateral mastectomy. It depends on the age that they've been diagnosed with a genetic disorder and also on other factors uh, that makes them at higher risk of getting the breast cancer. This can be assessed in clinic uh, to see the actual risk that they have lifelong and then how much that can be reduced if they go for the bilateral mastectomy. The best answer for this question is a good preparation before the surgery and understanding why the lady having the bilateral mastectomy or the prophylactic mastectomy is the best way to move forward. This is why in ladies, for example, who've been diagnosed with a breast cancer in one side and they want to come and discuss the uh, removing the other side, we insist of having psychological input so, they minim so that will minimize the regrets afterwards. I think good preparation before the surgery and taking the time and understanding what the risks are and what are the benefits from having the prophylactic mastectomy is the best way to avoid the regret afterwards. So definitely ladies who have genetic disorder that makes them uh, prone to have breast cancers, such as ladies who carry the BRCA1 or BRCA2 or PALP2 uh, mutations, they have benefit from having a prophylactic mastectomies, but that is also pending on a good consultation um, to well, you know, quantify that benefit. The age of having the prophylactic mastectomies, it depends on the age of the patient at the diagnosis and what you know, whether they have completed the family or not. Some um, genetic disorders such as the BRCA1 and BRCA2 also have the risk of having ovarian cancer. So timing between the oophorectomy um, and the mastectomy is also important and that will um, require a you know, liaison between the patient, the surgeon, and also the gynecological uh, surgeons. There's not much evidence that they doing prophylactic mastectomy in men is actually reducing um, the risk. Um, however, some men do um, choose to have a mastectomy um, prophylactic. And when they choose that, the majority, they don't ask for reconstruction. So it's more simple mastectomy. Um, and the majority will not ask for an nipple reconstruction or tattooing. Um, however, that is also like available if they wish to have it. In general, um, there are more ladies coming forward for prophylactic mastectomies, especially with the gene um, disorders compared to the men. So if, again, if a good preparation before the surgery is quite important to understand the pros and cons of having the surgery, um, the, having the prophylactic mastectomy with removing or without removing the nipple 
carries anything between 90 to 95, even sometimes higher percent um, of risk reducing. But that is from the patient's risk, um, lifelong risk. So if the patient's lifelong risk is, let's say, 80%, so that is 95% of that number is about 80 something percent. So it has a very high risk, uh, high success rate in reducing the risk of having breast cancer when it's actually um, um, indicated properly. Um, in terms of having the complications and, you know, as in any operation, a good consenting and informed consent between the consultant surgeon and the, the, the patient is very important is to understand the pros and cons. There are many options for the ladies to have um, before having the surgery. And as I said, in the other groups where the prophylactic mastectomy is based on the fear or the worry of having cancer happening in the other side with that genetic disorder, I think a very good consultation is a, absolutely essential to you know reduce that um, fear so the patient can make that decision without um, pressure.